why do we use iron rods in building and construction? And also when it comes to this phase, what kind of material is used for what kind of purpose? On today's episode in the Build Ghana's documentary, we will walk you through what we've done here and also introduce you a different material that is basically not part of the iron rods family. Let me walk you through it. Starting off with what we have here, these are 11.5. This is 11.5. This is 16 mm. This is 10 mm. So you can see the size differences. So these, which are the um, the 10 mm, in our case, is being used for syrups or the rings for it to contain the secret beams or the concealed beams. I will explain that later. And these, which are the uh, 11.5 are used for the laying bars that is the top bar the, the top bars and the down bars and these are 16 mm that is fortifying what we have here that is the concealed beams so now let me give the rule of the concealed beam first the rule of the concealed beam is basically to reinforce the span that we have here as you can see the beams are from that end all the way to that end and also that end all the way to this end so these are here to fortify the slab here so that when you are on the ground floor and someone is up here and the person is performing any activities there won't be noises so you won't be disturbed by the activity that is being performed here when you are on the ground floor this is here solely to prevent that and also uh this is also here to oppose gravity that is when you pull off the form weight from the from beneath there won't be, you know, gravity will pull. So there won't be any gravitational pull on this side, which is basically the metal. That doesn't actually have any support from this beam and that beam and all that. The, the main reason is basically two. One is to oppose gravitational pull in the metal, or basically on this floor. The second one is also to eliminate the noise that is basically caused by um, the activities that's on the, on the first floor, not to disturb the person who is on the ground floor. So now, let me walk you here. And this is to a different material basically far from the iron rod family. This is a U channel. Some call it C channel, you know, other names and all that. We introduced this C channel or the U channel in, in our construction of this specific building. But this is basically a C or U channel, right? But we didn't use just one, we used two to create an H channel. So as this one is facing here, we place another one to face here. So it goes like this. And this one goes like this. So it's basically an H. Yeah. So if you come here, you can see that it was fitted perfectly here. And this is an H channel. This is a foreigner when it comes to the iron family, because this is not part of the iron family. It's always an iron, but it's not part of the Ross family. And we introduce this in replacement of this. Yeah, so the, the concealed beams that we had here, we use this as a concealed beam for this place. Because, let's go back here. Let's go back to where we were. At first. This is the continuation of where we were. Yeah, so here, as I said earlier on, the, the reason why or the motive of a concealed beam is to strengthen here to make sure that there won't be a gravitational pull of there won't be any noise emanating from the first floor to the ground floor. The same thing applies to the kitchen channel, doing this the same way. Is that the from this end, all the way to that end, is more than 30 feet. So if we plan on using an iron rod, it will use this sensitivity, or the reason why we are actually placing it, it will lose it. Because from this end, all the way to that end, it's 36 feet. And from this end, all the way to that end, uh, 44 feet. So even if we thought of using a high tensile bar, which is 40 feet, still it will run short and it will lose its uh, ability. All right, so as I was saying earlier on, this was basically uh, replaced or used in replacement of the secret concealed beams because the span here was very long. So we use this and as you know, iron, when it comes to iron rods, we don't actually uh, weld them. You must match them. Um, an example is this, as you can see, this bar is overlapping this bar. So basically this weight is being shared with this weight. 
till it loses up to the next one. So it's more like a baton. When you are running uh, in, in athletics, someone passes the baton to some, the, the other person and the other person continues. Same thing when, uh, happens when it comes to iron rods overlapping. But when it comes to irons like this, you can't overlap. So you weld it together like this. And because of the way that will be born by this point, we couldn't take the risk of just overlapping it like this only. So as I said, it's, all, it's already a C channel, right? So we lock one here. So this is one. The next one, we lock one here. Then we use one full bar to support it. This one also won't up here because we will weld this one together because the length of this one piece is not up to 30 feet. It's just 18 feet in some inches. So we, uh, we put this in the middle of this one so that the wrapping will be just here and not here also. So that if there will be a break, if there will be uh, anything worst case scenario, it won't affect this one as well. And this one will toughen this up. So we didn't also rely on the on the welding only. We also did bolting as well, so that we can have additional uh, reinforce or security. So that this basically is being toughened up, and there won't be anything that will break this up. So aside the um, the welding, there's also bolts like railways. When you are working on the railway uh, bridges or gaps, you can see that there are bolts on the other ends. So that is what we've done here, and also that bar. We'll come and do the lapping here. Get it lapping here as well. That is here. And that's one that we lap there. Well, you know, so that it will have the, the stretch and also the boat also the interlace for maximum security and all that. So this bar is now each channel. One is each channel or C channel, but two is each channel. You can have one bar um made made like this, which is each channel. But we, we couldn't have that one, so we made sure we produce each out of two two C's. So that's a spot out here. And as I said, this is basically a different method or a foreign in most of the building processes in Ghana. So basically, we are free to do three ways. So uh, give, give us a like, give us a share, and also subscribe to our channel. As we already bring more light on what the secret beam is, now let's talk about this one. This is the main beam. This is a concealed beam. These ones, Distribute the weight these ones. So basically, these are the main. That's the reason why it's called main. So this one, these are the main beams that distribute all the weight to the stream ends. And the stream ends basically is the columns. That serves more like the, the legs of the whole building and uh, carries the whole weight on its shoulders to the floor or to the um to the earth. Yeah, so these are the main beams made up by 16 mm. It can be done by 18, 20, um, uh, 14 and all that depending on the weight that will be bought on it so yes as i said these are the main beams these are the concealed beams and basically the main beams are much stronger and much wider and much bigger than the concealed beams and also you can spot main beams because we will basically make it look visible not like the secret beams which you can't even see it after the concrete is poured on it so these are all beams or oh, these are the main beams this one that one it's, it's a lot it's a lot so yes as i said earlier on and these ones are the pillars as well and as for the pillars the way for the pillars says as a legs for the whole building so these give you the weight of all these and share it to the ground so it's more like your legs or the the, the legs of the building so as i asked you uh, earlier on what is the role the reason why we use um iron rolls and all that and what's the purpose for, for it iron rolls basically or let's say the reinforced uh, ions that you see on, or in construction or building construction serves as a skeletal system of the whole project. So as we have uh, bones in our body as well, these are the bones for the body. So if the project can stand, this makes sure it does stand. If it won't, this will make sure it won't. Because if a, a building collapse, basically there is a, a, an iron rod somewhere that they should have placed somewhere uh that should have been 16 or 14 or even 18 or 20 that they didn't do it and you know yeah though um cement basically adds more to it but these are the skeletal system of the whole building so if you want the bones these are the bones of the whole building so as i said these are more like the legs and the legs the leg is basically made up of the bone the flesh the everything yeah so this is the bone part of the legs so when the the, the casting is done 
then you you find you find the flesh on it. So basically, the flesh is more like the concrete that is used to you know cover up the bones. So these are the the bones of the building. This is where we write under it. Don't try this at home. Just because you've seen that we've made these things doesn't mean you can, oh, I'm just going to do the same thing. My spine is just going to take in order to can, you know, nah. You need engineer supervision. You need someone who is well advanced in these kind of works so that the person will bring to the table what's best for you. So yes, you can do it, but at your own risk. Now, let me walk you here. In the Bible, just by saying something about if you see this, know that the end is here. So now that you see that, cement are being brought by truck straight from the factory know that the casting is also near so we are preparing for the casting so basically we were throwing more light on what we are doing here so that you get to know that we actually are building ghana one project at a time one district one town one uh, region at a time and know that and yes i knew that if we were today that's the reason why i brought my raincoat you know yeah so thousands of blessings Thank you very much. My name is Sochi Kujo Wellington. As I said earlier on, we are with both Ghana. The number is 0400 You can contact us via WhatsApp, um, via calls, text messages, everything. We will respond to you. We talk. We will discuss. We are very, very open. We are very, very friendly as well. As you can see, the way I'm talking, the way I'm vibing. That's how I am. So, yes, this is what we are doing in Konongo. We can repeat the same energy to you wherever, everywhere you are in Ghana. Thank you very much. Thank you.